Hello, I'm Polly and I work for Butterfly Conservation. At this time of year I would normally be busy moth trapping and taking live specimens into schools, but unfortunately due to the COVID-19 restrictions I'm unable to do that. However, we thought we could still bring the moths directly to you through this Top Traps video. My butterfly conservation colleagues from around the UK have been busy collecting moths and are really keen to show their best moth catches with you. To add a competitive element, we're asking you to judge who you think has the top trap. So, are you ready? Shall we go and see the first trap? Hi everyone, I'm Kate from Butterfly Conservation. Welcome to my garden here in Somerset. It is a really warm night, which is really good news because the more warm it is, the more moths I'm going to get in my trap and the better chances I have of winning top traps, which I really want to do because I want to beat all my colleagues. So I'm going to put the trap on, keep my fingers crossed and see you in the morning. Well folks, I think we need to just stop this competition because clearly I've got the winning moth right here. The winning trap because this is the glorious cream spot tiger moth and just look at that. It's got the most amazing velvety black wings with these striking cream splodges that give it its name. And underneath those four wings, those black and cream four wings are a bright pair of yellow underwings. So just look at that. Surely a winner in the category of most glamorous of moths. Well, I've had to come inside now because it was getting so cold and so windy outside. Here we have the Lime Speck Pug. And I'm just gonna pop a pencil here to show you the scale and how diddy this little guy is. Now the Lime Speck Pug, I know what you're thinking. It's not as showy. It's not as fancy, is it, as the cream spot tiger, but this little one is actually the master of disguise because here it is perfectly mimicking a bird poo. And by perfectly mimicking a bird poo, it's actually avoiding predation. Genius. So there you go. There are my top moths and the reasons you should vote for me, Kate in Somerset, for your top trap. Hello, I'm Matt. I am the Butterfly Effect Project Officer for Gloucestershire. And last night I ran a moth trap in my garden here in Bristol. And I found some really exciting moths. This was one of them. This is a lime hawk moth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on the podium a little bit closer to the camera and tell you a little bit more about him. They're called hawk moths because they are swift in their flight. They go very quickly, just like birds of prey, like falcons and kestrels. That's why they're called hawk moths. The top trap category that I'm going to nominate for this male lime hawk moth is patience as a pupa. The pupa is the chrysalis or the cocoon. And this male lime hawk moth will have spent eight months all through the autumn, all through the winter, all through the early spring, eight months underground in a cocoon. So top trap category, patience in the pupa goes to the lime hawk moth. Now this moth is an ermine moth, a white ermine moth, incredibly pretty it's bright white with these black spots and it's also got a little bit of orange on its back our white ermine moth has finally settled down here it is and just look at those beautiful black flecks on that shiny white wing what a gorgeous moth now this is called a white ermine moth because in the old days very important people like kings and queens, they used to wear something called an ermine. And that is the coat of a stoat or lots of coats from lots of stoats. 
because in the winter time, the stoat's coat changes white, but it keeps a black tail. So when people saw this moth, they said it was like it was wearing ermine, because not only is it the right colours, black and white, but it also looks like it's wearing a very posh scarf around its neck. So I'm nominating the white ermine moth for my top trap category, most beautiful in black and white. Hi there, my name's Fiona and I work for Butterfly Conservation. I work on two projects. One is to conserve the really rare wood white butterfly, which is on the Surrey and Sussex border. So that's working on one colony of the wood white. And the other one is working on the Barbary carpet moth, which is a really rare moth in the southwest of England. So I'm going to show you some of my favourite moths that I caught last night in my trap and why I think they're the best. So here is one of my top moths then. This is a peppered moth. So there's different colour forms of the peppered moth in Britain. Uh, there's, you get peppered moths that are far darker than this and you do get ones which are a bit lighter as well. Still quite sleepy, but the reason why I think this moth is so cool is the fact that it's got really hairy antennae, although you can't see them at the moment. It's really, really well camouflaged when it's up against tree bark, which is where it spends the day, sort of high up in trees, usually sort of settled against the bark. So it's really well camouflaged there. So how about this for a cool moth? This I was so pleased to see in the trap. I didn't know if I got them here where I live, so I'm on West Sussex Hampshire border. Never seen one before here. But this is a privet hawk moth. So it's the heaviest of our hawk moths, really big bodied. And it's got this amazing pinky reddish and black striped body and the hind wings as well are striped with pink and black. Hi everyone, I'm Jen Gilbert from Butterfly Conservation. I'm here in my garden with my moth trap that I ran last night for our top traps competition. Uh, I normally live in Gloucestershire but I'm here in lockdown with my family in sunny Hertfordshire so I'm now going to take a look in the trap and see what exciting moths I got. So this is the nut tree tussock moth which I have to say is one of my favourites and it's probably one of my favourites because it's one of the first moths I caught when I started moth trapping and it is just so cute, so furry. You see the furry head and these really fluffy legs. It's a fantastic looking moth, gorgeous chocolate brown and cream colouring and I say it is probably the friendliest moth because it has been sat on my finger for a while now and will probably sit there for a good while yet. So this one I've got here now is the brimstone moth. Another one I got in the trap last night. As some of you may know it shares its name with a butterfly, uh, the brimstone butterfly. And they both get that name because of this lovely lemon yellow colour. Really bright colourful moth here. And I would say probably one of our most colourful moths that we have, and certainly the most colourful I got in my trap last night. I hope you enjoyed seeing all those moths. Those were my top moths from my trap last night, and all the reasons why I think you should vote for me as having the top trap. Hi, I'm uh, Phil Sterling, and uh, I'm living in Weymouth, which is on the south coast of Dorset. Uh, here next to me is a moth trap. I've been running moth traps for over 50 years and uh, we run moth traps because we like to be able to see the different kinds of moths that we find and be able to tell you stories about them. And this is my favourite moth of all. This is the eyed hawk moth. Look at the camouflage here. Doesn't this moth look just like dead leaves? But it's got a trick up its sleeve because it looks like dead leaves but as soon as a bird comes anywhere near it and tries to peck at it, it flashes out its eye spots from underneath with these blue-grey eyes and pink flash and that's a flash coloration which means that as the bird sees the moth it gets startled and the moth has a chance to get away. 
Okay, now look at this creature here. Can you see the size of those antennae? Some people call them feelers, but these are the antennae. And these detect the chemicals that, um, that moths emit and helps them, helps them find a mate. Now these antennae are extraordinarily long and the moth is known as one of the longhorn moths for obvious reasons. Why such long antennae? These antennae are long because they help in their mating flight. So these moths, um, uh, they fly around the trees and as they fly around the trees they dance together waiting for females to come along. So, it's been great to show you some of my uh, top moths from my trap this morning, which is why I think you should vote me for top trap. Hi, I'm Anthony McCluskey and I work for Butterfly Conservation in Scotland. I ran my moth trap in beautiful Glen Lyon in Highland Perthshire and last night I found a few different cool moths, so let's have a look at those. So this little moth is one of the prominent, and you can tell it's one of the prominent moths because it has its feet splayed out in front of it there, its front legs, you can see them, little hairy legs, little feet. But if you turn it around to the side, you can see more patterns on it. And this one is called the pebble prominent. One of the really cool things about this moth is that its caterpillars have an amazing shape. They really look contorted and twisted. So this is the white ermine again. And you'll notice that some of the moths which have plain coloration also have bright coloration underneath and they can use this to scare off predators or to try to attack them. So if a bird comes along, this moth can flash open its wings, show the yellow underneath and that can hopefully frighten the bird or other predator away. So there are our six traps from around the UK. I really hope you enjoyed looking at the spectacular array of moths that my colleagues have shown you. Now it's decision time to see who is going to win the Top Traps title. So, will it be Kate with her glamorous cream spot tiger or her master of disguise lime speck pug? What about Matt with his patient as a pupa lime hawk moth or the most beautiful in black and white, white ermine? Then there was Fiona with the cleverly camouflaged peppered moth and the impressive heavyweight, the privet hawk moth. Jem was a big fan of the super friendly little nut tree tussock moth and the bright and colorful brimstone. Phil showed us the spectacular eyed hawk moth with that trick up its sleeve to give predators a fright. And what about the long horn moth? with those incredibly long antennae. And then finally, we met Anthony with the beautifully marked pebble prominent with its hairy legs outstretched. And then there was the white ermine again, but this time we learned about how it can scare predators away by flashing its bright yellow body. I hope you have fun picking a winner. And I hope you've enjoyed learning about some of the wonderful moths that we have here in the UK. You can go and visit our website if you want to find out more about moths and all the ways that you can join in with our efforts to conserve them.